Like many car lovers, I have a dream of one day owning an electric car. Earlier this month, on June 11, 2010, on a trip to Palo Alto, California, I had an opportunity to visit the most advanced electric car store in the world. Tesla Motors' main office and showroom is in Menlo Park, California, right beside Palo Alto, and I took photos in this video at their showroom. Before I share a little of what I learned about the Tesla electric car, I probably should tell you the base price of the vehicle, so you won't get your hopes and expectations up too high, at least for now. The base price of a new Tesla is currently $109,000. That is just the starting price. Additional customizations and features are added on from there. If you're not already a millionaire, it's doubtful you'll be in the serious market for this car anytime soon. Unlike some electric cars on the market today, like those from Miles Electric, which are converted gasoline cars fitted aftermarket to run on electricity, Tesla cars were designed from the ground up as electric cars. The Tesla design was based on a Lotus car, and the published technical specifications on the website state the base model will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. Because there is not a clutch, there is no need to do any shifting to achieve this level of acceleration and performance. You only have to push down on the accelerator. This silver Tesla was an original prototype and was used in the original Iron Man movie in the garage of Tony Stark. Since I had just seen Iron Man 2 a week before I saw this prototype vehicle in person, I thought this was a pretty cool fact. The Tesla truly is the future of automotive design and power plants, today, in 2010. Just as an iPad is an expensive digital communications platform only owned by a fraction of the planet's population, the same thing can be said, in even more limited quantities, about the Tesla. I hope, however, the core technologies and functionalities represented by both the iPad and the Tesla will go mainstream in the years ahead. Why should we continue to burn fossil fuels to power our cars and our homes in the 21st century? The answer is, we shouldn't. A very powerful petroleum lobby continues to exert influence over global geopolitics and maintain its lucrative income streams, which have existed for almost a century now. I hope the days of the global petroleum industry are limited. While the Tesla car is extremely expensive today, it certainly gives me hope that we're headed to a greener, more ecologically friendly future, which does not have to compromise design or performance when it comes to cars. I encourage you to check out the website for Tesla Motors on teslamotors.com. If you're like me, you won't be shopping for one of these cars anytime soon, but it's still great to dream about them and to dream big. Bring on the future. I'm ready to step into my electric car and leave my petroleum-using ways in the past.